best time of my life. You crying <laughs> Not yet. Natalie doesn't do so great with heights. <laughs> We're Matt and Nat, a travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. After having our world turned upside down in 2020, we decided to set out on our biggest adventure yet, to see all 50 states in a year. In last week's video, we road trip through Alabama. We started in Mobile and traveled to Birmingham with a couple of fun pit stops in between. We then made our way to Scottsboro where we shopped at the only store in America that sells lost luggage. This week, we're headed to the Sunshine State. Welcome, Welcome to, to Florida. Florida. When most people think of Florida, they probably think of theme parks and white sand beaches. But we're not going to do any of that. And that's because we want to show you a different side of Florida. Since I'm originally from here, I've seen and done a lot. And we're going to pack in as much as we possibly can in two days here in Florida. So if you want a free printable of our itinerary, check out the link in the description. And we're going to start our trip off with one of the coolest and most unique experiences, swimming with manatees here in Crystal River. Three Sister Springs, and it is freezing out. Oh yes, it is. I think currently around 30 35 degrees. My hands are freezing, Thankfully, but yes, the water. You put your hand in the water, and we would normally expect it to be really cold. The temperature of the water is usually 72 to 75 degrees at all times, so it's gonna feel like bath water. Yeah, especially compared to this air temperature. So cold. Thank God we've got wetsuits on. Also, I am just chilling here and Matt's doing all the work. <laughs> we're excited though because we just heard that there yesterday there were how many manatees? 500 manatees here. Yes. So we cannot wait. We're hoping to redeem ourselves. Yeah, last time we did this, this was our expectation. And here's our reality. We couldn't see them at all. It was so murky. So, yeah, so hopefully I today. Think it's going to be a little better this time. If you're looking to do this kind of trip yourself, the season for manatees to actually be up in the clearer spring water is November to, to April. April. But the peak season is going to be the coldest month. So yeah. December through February ish. And yeah. it is currently January and cold. So cold. We're about to go through this tunnel, so I had to make sure. I'm also holding all of our things <laughs> while Matt paddles. Look at us going in this little thing. state out of 50 that we'll be visiting this year so please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on this journey we put out a new video every thursday so please make sure you hit that notification bell so you won't miss out and you can also follow along at adventures of matt and nat on instagram for story highlights of our time here in florida <music> So Natalie has elected to go in the water first. I'm freezing out here. I'd rather be in there. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I hope we don't tip over. It's colder than anything.
everything. Epic. Oh my gosh, they came right up to your face and like nuzzled you. The visibility yeah. wasn't amazing, but it was still really awesome. Way better than last time we came. Oh my gosh. We were a little disappointed that the spring itself wasn't open but because it's kind of a, what do they call it, manatee sanctuary right yeah. now? But all around the entrance of the spring is where the manatees come out to feed, especially in the morning time. Which is when we're here. So perfect it was timing. So awesome. If you guys are ever here, you have to swim with the manatees. It is like oh this is the capital of swimming with the yep. manatees, so you have to do it. I think it's the only place you can legally swim with them. I think so. Yeah. So y'all have to come. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna go get warmed up in the kayak. We're freezing, so we're gonna go change. <laughs> ah, that's better. So we're running a little behind because we swam a little too long with the manatees. Yeah, so we're not gonna have time to stop for lunch, but thanks to Natalie's mom, we have a snack bag with drinks and goodies, so we will not go hungry. Shout out to you, mom, <laughs> thank you. Also, shout out to Bet Mary for our dry bag. We used it for the first time and it was Perfect, you are the MVP, Absolutely. thank you. And now we're headed to our next adventure, which is at the Canyons Zip Line and Adventure Park in Ocala. They do horseback <laughs> riding, zip lines, kayaking, and we're gonna do the biggest zip line that they've got there, and we are so excited to show you. <laughs> Comment below who you think is gonna scream the loudest. This one, she's gonna scream. No, I'm not gonna yeah, scream. I love excitement. adventure. That's true, probably. <laughs> I'll be laughing the whole time. I haven't gotten to the top of the first platform yet. <laughs> <laughs> we look cool with your hats. <laughs> we just finished the training zip. And my adrenaline's pumping so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> if you are ever here in North Central Florida, you have to do this, and we're only on number three. <laughs> okay, you had to hold you. <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> Watch this. Look at ya. Look at me. <laughs> oh, I am ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's James, everybody. That's me! Woo! We're five in, four more to go, which includes the biggest and fastest. How many feet is that? 1,100 and something. I can't exactly remember, but it's over 1,100 feet long. They say we'll go anywhere from 50 to 65 miles per hour. It's gonna be a good one. It's way over there. Um, you can't get off. Like the only way to get off is by ziplining yep. off of here. And we're way up. the best time of my life. <laughs>
Natalie doesn't do so great with heights. And I'd rather zip across it. I have to this walk. This is what oh we're doing my here. Gosh. Did you show them the ground? Oh yeah. You good back there? Oh, I think so. <laughs> I'm happy I made it. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> still recommend, but still a little scary. Oh gosh. It's too late. We did it, look what we, we got. It, and we have certificates to prove it. Oh, <laughs> if you're ever in Florida, you guys have to check them out. It yes. was amazing. Yes, it absolutely was. And if you come, you have to ask for Michael and, and James, James as your tour guides. They made an already awesome experience even better. You gotta come to Canyon Zipline Tours. arrived in Flagler Beach. This is my beautiful family. We got my mom and my dad and <laughs> Cupcake and we are enjoying a beautiful sunset on the veranda here in Flagler. We thought we were going to go out to the Funky oh, Pelican or somewhere for happy hour but it's somebody's birthday here. This guy! This guy. So we decided to have a little more of a relaxed evening in, enjoying the sunset out here on the veranda. Make sure you guys comment and wish him a happy birthday. It is his 79th birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday. And he's so embarrassed, but it's fine. So we're going to take it easy for the night, but we have a big day planned tomorrow, and we'll see you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> action-packed day yesterday. Today, we're gonna take it a little bit more chill. Yep, we're here in St. Augustine. Which is the oldest city in America. Yep, and we're gonna be taking in the history and hopefully some of the food. First, we're gonna grab some really good local coffee. And you can't have coffee in St. Augustine without it being Kookaburro. Let's go. I got a chai tea, obviously, yeah. and we're gonna try it out. I got the Aussie iced, it's really good. Cheers. <gasps> he drank before we cheers. Mm, cheers again. Mine's really good. How's yours? <laughs> She's. I'm so, a chai snob. Well, yeah, but you also like things to be a little sweet. I do like sweet. Nothing There's no sugar bitter. in here. It's like dessert. Well, good for you. How's yours? Mine's not dessert. So you wouldn't recommend the chai in Kookaburra? No. No. I would recommend my Aussie iced coffee. So there you have it. So we're now in front of the Old Town Trolley Tours. Mm -hmm. Now that we've got our coffee and tea in hand. Okay, which... I do want to say that I've been drinking this for the past like five minutes and it's growing on me. Okay. I still want it a little sweeter. <laughs> But it is growing on me. It's not yeah. disgusting. Well, that's good. Before we go jump on a trolley and head into St. Augustine downtown area, we're actually going to explore right here on Old Town Trolley Tours property where they have a lot of really cool stuff to do, including There's an old jail, yeah, the old general jail, store, general store, Gator and then they Bobs. They also have a St. Augustine museum that's free. So if you're here, they also have free parking. Yep, free parking. That saved us 15 bucks right there. A 
lot of that things actually are included with your trolley tour that would normally cost you five, 10, $15. So it's kind of worth getting the trolley ticket because you get transportation through the whole city and a ton of knowledge comes with it. Plus you get some admission to some really cool sites. And you also get discounts when you get the trolley tour mm -hmm. and you buy here on site, you get really big discounts yep. on all the other attractions. Listen in on the party line. <laughs> he said, You old biddies. <laughs> 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 We just got on the old trolley tour, finally. We had a great time in the old jail museum as well as the old general store. It was really, so cool. Yeah, it was really cool with a ton of information that I had no clue about before, so. <laughs> totally recommend, check those out. Let's oh, get we're going. going. <laughs> After a short little trolley ride <laughs> over, we are now at our next stop, Potter's Wax Museum, which was America's first wax museum and the third largest in the world when it was built. This is really cool, but I find wax figures to be a little crazy. <laughs> I mean, any, any wax museum is gonna be a little creepy, I feel like. Well, yeah. But it is very impressive. All human hair, all put in one strand at a time. Crazy. Six months to a year to make one figure. Did you want to see the face that Natalie makes at me when I tell her something she doesn't like to hear or want to do? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> So this is Matt's face that he makes when we get to have Chick-fil-A for lunch. Accurate. <laughs> so we're now at the old city entrance of St. Augustine. And we're going to go on St. George Street and we're going to check out some restaurants and some shops and we're just going to explore the pedestrian street. the empanada that came with a side and we got Black beans and rice. so good for like a quick bite. So we just got our postcards for our patrons. Yep, so if you're interested in getting postcards from all of our travels, please go check out our Patreon page. The link is in the description. So this is the oldest street in America. We're headed on the trolley and we're just gonna go and enjoy the ride and not get off for a bit. Yes, sit down and rest our feet. And enjoy the wind in our hair. <laughs> built in enough time in our schedule to actually have a real meal. So I'm gonna run in and get us some soft pretzels so we can get back to our ghosts and gravestones tour.
Success. We did it. We found each other. That was so hard. Natalie was driving around while I'm running up and down streets trying to carry beer cheese and pretzels and a drink. All right, now off to our ghosts and gravestones oh. tour. Ooh, that I said that. I said that light. So we've scarfed down our soft pretzels and beer cheese. In the car. In the car on the way here, but we made it to... Ghosts and gravestones. Yes, guys. we're excited about it. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> so we just got finished with ghosts and gravestones and if paranormal activity is your thing we totally recommend it obviously we couldn't film it because it was super dark but totally recommend also just a few things that we want to mention first we 1000 percent recommend the trolley tour and if it's your first time doing the trolley tour we recommend doing the entire loop once before getting off that way you know which stops you'd like to get off on on your next loop around and if you found this vlog looking for the top things to eat while you're in florida we apologize and we are sorry to disappoint you i promise we did do a ton of research of places we wanted to eat while yeah. we were here but we were really busy yeah as normal we were a little <laughs> ambitious with our schedule and didn't actually end up having time to sit down and eat a meal even once maybe no and i I'm don't starving. think we did <laughs> and if you'll check out the link below for our blog you can find all of that information there all right so saint augustine is still doing their nights of lights they do it until January 31st, so what we're gonna do right now is a walk around and see all the beautiful Christmas lights. So that wraps up our time here in Florida, which is our fourth out of 50 states that we're gonna be visiting this year. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing. It really, really means the world really to both does. of us. We put out a new video every Thursday. So be sure to tune in next week to see what state we're visiting next. <sighs> it is 35 degrees <laughs> in Florida. Look at this natural hair. This is what we do in public and it's very <laughs> embarrassing. I put too much gel in it so it's crunchy like in seventh grade. Oh, was that a thing? I got the crunchy curls. I got the crunchy curls. Oh my God. I think it's still filming it. Yeah. Please check out Matt's Man. lines on his head I, from his helmet. I guess I had mine cranked down on my <laughs> noggin. It wasn't going anywhere. Mine my was... head was going to come off if that helmet <laughs> came off. <laughs> my eyes watering a little bit like with the wind. Not because I was crying, you know. Hey, you're a movie star just like Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh! She kicked out. You sure do. Did you get on video? I broke the rules. I think so. I I broke the rules. He's a rule breaker. One person at a time. <laughs> <laughs> you having a good time? Oh yeah, you like my kind of got a Bob the Builder look going on. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Man, oh, I came in hot. <laughs> I did too. So we just finished a quick bite here at the Spanish Bakery. Oh my gosh, I just know. I thought that was a bug on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's your sticker. You got fuzz on your face right there. Was it my mustache? Yeah, it was a long curly. I was filming the whole time. <laughs> See ya then. <laughs>